Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This again is Dr. Daniel D. Robinson, and we're going to continue our quest for proportional relationships. And this time it's regarding graphs. So I hope you got your graph paper. So let's get started. Proportional relationships with graphs. The learning outcome we hope to achieve is students to decide whether two quantities are proportional to each other by graphing on a coordinate plane and observing whether the graph is a straight line through the origin. Some very important words on the line. First vocabulary word, origin, is the starting point, it's point zero zero. Note, every proportional relationship will include the origin. So that's a must. If it doesn't have the origin, it's not a proportional relationship. Proportional relationships represented as an equation are in the form of y equal kx. We'll be talking about that equation shortly. The k especially. A direct proportional relationship is a linear relationship because it forms a straight line when graph. Linear, if you look at the spelling, the first four letters is the word line. So that's how you remember linear relationship when it's graph, it makes a straight line. Dependent variable, that's the y coordinate value, the output value of the function. We'll talk about functions later on in eighth grade, but we're talking about the y coordinate value or whatever grade you'll talk about it. Note, to find the y value, it depends on the x value. So dependent variable is depending on the other value, the x value. So y is hoping to get some help from x in order to succeed in doing what it must do. So y depends on x. Independent variable, the x-coordinate value, the input value of the function. Note, to find the x value, it is independent of the y value. In other words, the x value doesn't have to do anything to the y value if it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to play. It doesn't have to play. It's completely independent but the y value definitely needs the x value to survive. So here's a table of x and y coordinates. So we're going to graph them up here. So remember how to graph. Here's your x-axis, goes horizontally across, go up two, and I'm sorry, go across two, and up three boxes, and that'll give you the first coordinate point. The next one, go to the x on 4 and go to the y value on 6. So notice it corresponds to y is 6 on the y line and x is 4 on the x line. The next value, the x is 6 and then 9. So you can go to x line to 6 and go up to the y axis, which is 9. And there's that point. And the last one is 8 across on the x line and then go up to the y line and there is 12. So all of those points, notice how they're straight in a row. Things you should remember if it's a proportion or they're proportional. Well, you should remember, you should be able to tell from my other video about the table. If you look at these fractions, they should simplify two thirds is our first fraction. Maybe they all simplify down to two thirds. So let's take a look. Get my calculator out. Four, six. That's two thirds. All right, that's good. So far, so good. Six ninths. 
That's two thirds. Great. Last one. Eight twelves. That's tough. Eight twelves. Hey, that's two thirds. All right. So they're all simplified down to two thirds. So we can tell that this is a proportional relationship. So we have a proportional relationship here. So all of our fractions simplify down to two thirds. So one thing we must remember, if it is a proportional relationship, it's going to go through the origin. So the origin is 0 0.00, 0 which is right here, the starting point. So let's notice it goes Notice it goes right through the origin, and all of those dots, it's going through them. It's on a straight line, and that's one thing we should remember. All points are going to lie on a straight line. So if it is a proportional relationship, it's going to go through the origin, 0, 0 point, and it's going to be on a straight line. So here's a question. Does this graph represent quantities that are proportional to each other? Yes or no? So keep in mind, you got a table, 2 thirds, 4, 6, 8, 12, 12, 14. You should be able to tell that from the table. So I'll give you a minute. So I hope you are graphing those points. I have them graphed already over here. Hope you got your graph paper. Two thirds, four, six. Go down to x axis, eight, twelve, and what is that? Twelve, fourteen. So I graphed them all. Now remember, they should go through the x through the origin so they should go through the origin that last point looks a little crooked but i don't have to graph it to be able to tell i should be able to simplify all of these fractions to be able to tell so why don't you simplify all the fractions So two, first one is two thirds. Four six simplifies to two thirds. Six eight simplifies to two thirds. But twelve fourteen six simplifies to six seven. So that's definitely not proportional because of the twelve fourteen. So if we draw a line, notice it doesn't go through origin. It's a little crooked, a little off. So this is not good. So definitely, it is not a proportion, no relationship. So we use graph paper to figure out whether it was a proportion or not. So check your understanding. Make sure you understand about proportional relationship. If you need to watch the video, watch it again. If you have questions, write them down. See me in the morning, and we'll talk about it. Here's where we're going to pick up tomorrow. Graph the table. And does this graph represent the quantities that are proportional to each other? So figure out if it's a proportion. Hopefully you'll be able to. So that's it for today. Again, this is Dr. Robinson. I hope you got something out of the video. Because if you have questions, write them down. And I'll be glad to answer them tomorrow. So I'll see you next time. Bye.